Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products in focus. Um, the US 30 just slowly uh, having its kind of rally peter out. Most global equity markets retreating this morning ever so slightly after such strong gains in the last number of sessions. But potential support still remains at 17075 on the Dow. And uh, we are getting quite close to having, we're actually getting a sell signal on the RSI. We're close to getting a sell signal on the slow stochastic. Uh, the MACD histogram is flattening down. Um, but nevertheless, this level here, 17075, uh, could be relatively strategic, strategic in the short term. And uh, most traders will be looking at this level today to get an idea of what's happening next. Then looking at the UK 100, uh, we are still in the middle of two ranges, potential resistance 6874, potential support at 6774. So we've got a, a decent 100 point range right there, 50 points either side. And we are hitting short term potential resistance for about 68.34. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and add that onto my chart. Um, I think that will be a level uh, that will be worth keeping an eye on. So that is 68.32 potential short term resistance. Mm -hmm. Looking at the Japan 225, it's broken through potential support now at 15.488. Um, we are close to getting a death cross there in the moving averages, which wouldn't be so great from a technical perspective. Uh, slow stochastic there is getting close to crossing over the 80% level, which would be a sell signal, as is the MACD just about to cross over. So there, we might be entering a period from, certainly from a technical uh, perspective, ignoring the fundamentals for a second, um, there's you know, kind of mounting momentum for uh, a, a slight dip if certain key levels are broken. Um, but it all depends. We've got a lot of economic data coming out today. And most importantly, on Friday, uh, we've got some very important uh, euro inflation data, but I'll come back to that in a second, but it'll have big ramifications across most markets. So looking at dollar yen, which has been unable to capitalize on last week's um, rally, but nevertheless, 103 spot 77, the last three or four sessions has been important. Uh, I don't think that's going to be any different today. Uh, the dollar could do with um, uh, getting us that together a little bit because we uh, had been probing down below here uh, if we want to rechallenge 104 spot 67. But US Treasury yields have, uh, have been kind of going in the opposite direction to where the dollar would like them to go. So it needs extra support from that area. Um, but nevertheless, this could be an effective springboard should the fundamentals change. So looking at Cordell West Texas, um, still bouncing around $95 uh, spot 40, further consolidation right here. Uh, if this begins to flatten out over a longer period of time, this could be an interesting springboard. Um, but I guess the question that everybody's looking at is it going to be springboard higher or lower. We uh, did have crude oil inventories yesterday um, which if I actually go back and have a little look, um, actually came in a little bit worse than expected. Um, so that should have actually provided a little bit of support for West Texas crude, but it looks to be like I completely ignored that. Um, so uh, still waiting for a chosen direction on that commodity. Gold seems to be uh, edging up slightly higher, getting closer to potential resistance at 12.95. Uh, if there is a little bit of a retreat on the US dollar, and it looks to be that there are bounces across the majors just now, so it just seems to be that the dollar rallies kind of petered out in the short term. But nothing's really changed fundamentally. Maybe just a little bit of profit taking uh, should be considered uh, in, that, in that aspect just now. But gold, nevertheless, is ticking up nicely, uh, getting closer to 1295 potential resistance. So moving on to uh, euro dollar, uh, where again a lot of eyes are on, we have had a bounce, and we're actually trading above potential uh, resistance slash support. One spot 3193, uh, and we do have a fair amount of economic data due today. You've got German unemployment, and then you've got Eurozone consumer confidence at 10 a.m. UK time, followed by U.S. GDP and U.S. jobless claims. But you have to go forward all the way to Friday um, to get a good flavor of all the way till tomorrow. It's not really that far um, to get the um, the inflation data from um, from the Eurozone. And a lot of people will be looking at that to get a bit of a flavor as to when the ECB are likely to um, start being involved in a stimulus package about quantitative easing, um, monetary stimulus, which could obviously have a big impact on the uh, euro FX crosses, especially euro dollars. So people will be looking at this today, but Friday should be quite important as well. And then moving on to GBP USD, very similar um, pattern where we've actually started to uh, have a slight retreat um, US dollar wise. Um, but as I said, there's nothing really fundamentally uh, changed in regards to any US data. There wasn't anything out there yesterday. So this feels to be a little bit of a retracement uh, before we resume a, a move. But we do have 
other business to get through later on today, so it should be quite interesting. Keep your eye on the chart forum as ever um, for uh, trade setups from our global analyst team. Uh, so technical uh, trade analysis right there, and keep an eye on insights going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.